Sally, will you excuse me? Thank you. You're beautiful, Sally. I gotta get Abbott's breakfast ready. Will you help me, dear? You're just adorable, my darling. And I love you. I love you with all my heart. Sally, we've got to get married. I, I can't live without you. Will you excuse me, please? I gotta make Abbott's breakfast. Gotta make him some coffee. He loves coffee. Sally, let me ask you something. What, what? Well, why is your father always treating me so harsh? Sally, you're beautiful. Uh-oh. Sally, I got some coffee on you. Oh, my. Such a beautiful girl. Sally, you got me feeling so good I could kiss anybody. Anybody at all. Hello, bud. Hello. Oh, stop, Lou. Oh, I see what you did. I'm, I'm trying yeah, to... No, just be yourself. I'm trying to get be your coffee ready. Yeah, fix my coffee. Did you get my ham? How's my ham coming along? Pretty good. Where'll I get coffee on? Uh, sorry. Uh, I hope you're both happy. You know, incidentally, Lou, I was talking to Sally's father last night, and uh, we had a long conversation. Oh, the ham, yes. What are you doing? Here it is, your ham, Abbott. I'll get your eggs all ready for you, and you'll be all set. What is this? A heart. You see what I mean, Abbott? But Lou, don't, 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 don't let it go to your head that way. I mean, you can fall in love. And no matter what I'm doing, I, I see Sally in front of me all I the time. I know, but you can fall in love, Lou. You can be in love, but uh, I want you to do me one favor. Let's not talk about Sally now until I finish my breakfast. Right, well, you forget Sally until breakfast is over. I know how you feel. I'm going to help you out. I'll get the cream. Good. You Show you my heart's in the right place. <laughs> No, no, not not in the ice box. It's enough here, all over the place. You've got Sally's. Look, let me ask you something, Lou. Have you really proposed to Sally? What do you think I got Sally in the ice box? What do you think I got Sally here for? I got Sally I in, the, in the other room. Has she said yes to you? I got her in there, so every time I pass by, just to get enough nerve and say, "Hello, Sally, I love you." I've oh, asked her four, three times. now you're looking for your nerve. You have no nerve. I've asked her four, or five times. What did she say? Well, I think she's very happy about it, but she doesn't she's give not... me a, a, an answer, oh, you, you know. don't know. Look, I'll show you how to propose to Sally. You uh, gonna marry Sally? No, Why, you... look, culprit. Take it easy, not me, no. I want you to be happy, Lou. Oh. I, I'll pretend, look, I'll pretend I'm Sally. You're gonna be Sally? I'll be Sally, and you're Lou, and I want to see how you would propose to, to Sally. No, 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 you no. You look like Sally. You Just can... pretend. <laughs> now, you come over to me. Uh, here, step over there. Now, you're coming over to me. Yeah. I'm Sally. Now, you come over to me and propose. Now, let me see what what you would really say. Go ahead. Sally, darling. Oh, yeah, really? Just stop that. <laughs> what are you hit what me for? What are you for? grabbing her right away? I'm grab her hand. You, you, don't, hand. you don't grab her right away. <laughs> Finesse. Oh. Neat. Nice. Now, you come up to her and... In other words... How do you do, Sally? You know what I mean. Uh, take it easy. I'll get this. Gradually. Come. Right, right, get this. Now, I'm Sally. You're Lou. You're yourself. <laughs> oh, don't, don't, don't creep in. Walk up like a man. I was. You gotta be you very nice respect, about that. don't you? Look, you gotta be romantic. All right, be romantic, but don't. <laughs> 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 Hello, Sally. How are you this bright and glorious morning? Or... Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Oh, no, no, no. no, no, no. Now, take it easy. I'm Sally. Go ahead. Hello, Sally. Hello, Lou. How are you this bright and beautiful sunshiny morning? Fine, Lou, and yourself? He does it good, don't he? Well, you keep playing. I haven't said anything. I like the way you do it. Oh, what's the use of talking to you? I... Have you talked to her father yet? Oh, her father's murder. Oh, yeah, story. you see, there's a whole... the one guy I got a lot of doubt in, the old man. Why? Why should you have doubt? I... Because you've got no nerve. That's the whole trouble with you, Lou. If you walked into a father, let him, let him think that you're a big man. Uh, have respect for you. You've got to demand respect, otherwise you're a dead pigeon. You, you won't get the first base. You'll be Sally's father. I'm, All right, I'm now. I'm coming in to ask now, you for now, a... You see, now you're, you're starting to show signs of intelligence. Okay. Now, I'll be Sally's father. Okay. And uh, you're yourself. Now, be yourself. In other words, you're outside the door now, and you're coming into the home to ask me for uh, my daughter's hand in marriage. Now, be careful how you say it. Ask her for what? 
my daughter's hand in marriage. I don't want only the hand. I want the everything. I... <laughs> Do you want to do it right or not? Yeah, I'd better... All right, take it easy. Of course, Sally now, gets... All right, take it easy. Now, take it easy. Look, this is all for your benefit. Yeah, I can if see... If I that. didn't like you, Lou, I wouldn't even advise I you along see. these lines. I'm, I'm coming in. Now, I'm Sally's father. Okay. Very stern, I am. I'm very stern. Hello, Mr. Davis. Hi. How are you? <laughs> is, that, is that the way to approach a man? Is that the way to approach a man? I, I come in, deny like that? I says, hello, Sully. Or no, hello, Mr. Davis, well, how are you? Don't you knock on the door? Oh, don't you? Uh, uh, do you just walk through? What do you do? Uh, what do you do? Climb through a window or something? Excuse me, I didn't know there was a door here. Yeah, well, yeah. certainly there's a door in every. All right, so I'll knock on the door. I'm uh, coming in now. I don't know why I'm wasting my time. I'm only waiting for the coffee. Okay. I. Well, come on. Will you say come in? I'm knocking. You hear a bell? We have a bell on all doors. Ring the bell. Ring the bell and come in like a gentleman. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm ringing. Oh, I forgot. This. I forgot. The bell was out of order. You better knock. Go ahead. You better knock. Take it easy. Lou, you see, you've got to control that temper of yours. I'm knocking. Uh, come in. Uh, where were you brought up? In a barn? Close the door. <laughs> Excuse me, what I heard. Are you hearing things? Go and sit down. I'll bring your coffee. Yes, in. get my coffee in. Mmm, <laughs> coffee. Want coffee. cream? Nah, no cream. Sugar? No sugar. That's the way I like it. Black. Black. Well. Here's to you and Sally. Oh, thank you, bud. Good health, good luck. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> I sold my car so I could use the money for a down payment on a bride's delight prevaricated house. Oh, Lou, you didn't. I did, too. And tomorrow, they're going to deliver the crates to my own lot on a corner of Maple and Sarah. Oh, Lou, that's wonderful news. Gee, I hope we don't get stuck. Sally, now that I'm going to have a house for you to live in, will you marry me? Well, wait till I see the house. And if it's as nice as you say it is, I'll say yes. Sally, you're the most wonderful girl and boy you ever know. And I know the house is going to be gorgeous. So help me. Hey, you know, I ought to fire you as a maid. Look at all the extra work you've caused. Aren't you ashamed? Tell you the truth, Sally? No. I could keep on doing this for the rest of my life. <laughs> if you don't want to lose Sally, you better start thinking fast. Well, I'll figure some way to loss up this little dream of Costello's. So you see, Sally, with each crate numbered, it'll be a cyst to put that house together. Sounds wonderful, Lou. But... Supposing you get the numbers mixed up. Sally, that'll be impossible. Every crate is going to be numbered. So a seven is a seven, and eleven is eleven. Sounds natural. It is natural. Ah, <laughs> oh, gee, Lou. Darling. Just think. Our own little honeymoon house. <laughs> it's like a dream. <laughs> Did you get a load of that? It's sickening, isn't it? What are you going to do? You heard Tubby say those crates are numbered. Yeah. Now those crates are being dumped on his lot tomorrow afternoon. Keep talking. Now suppose you and I were to sneak down there tomorrow night and change the numbers of the crates. What would happen? Corky, you're an absolute genius. I have a feeling his little dream house might turn out to be a nightmare. How right you are. Come, let us mingle with the guests and play dumb. Lou, won't it cost a lot of money to hire carpenters to put the house together? No, Sally. You see, Abbott and Fields, they're going to help me put the house together. Oh. Oh, that's nice of Bud and the others to help. Oh, really, Sally? I really don't need Abbott and Fields. With my natural ability, I could put it up myself like that. 
Don't you think you ought to put the dishes away? Yes, darling. <laughs> Got one left over here. Lou? Yes. Darling, I hope your cooking is better than your dish drawing. Will you take a look and see if your chicken is done? I've been cooking forever for a long time. I'll take a look, Sally. <laughs> If you'll be honest, Father, you'll admit you've always picked on Lou. You've done your darndest to bust up our romance. Well, I certainly do. But if that honeymoon house turns out as nice as Lou's predicted, I'll give you my blessing. Mr. Davis, you've got nothing to worry about. It'll be a model home, something that you'll be very proud to have your daughter live in. Uh, I am proud of Lou. You know, this house of his is his first step in becoming a solid citizen. Oh, he's going to make a fine son-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> It's the first time anyone's ever said a kind word towards Lou. Oh. <laughs> Be careful, he's have to get a swell head and not marry Sally. <laughs> well, I don't think we have to worry about that. Suppose we have a glass of punch to celebrate the launching of your future home. A very good suggestion. Costello, how about a little punch? Abbott, you give me a punch right here and I'll lay you all over the joint. Get back in your nest. <laughs> that toast. toast? A toast. I'd like to make a toast. Well, make one. Fine. For Sally and I. Go ahead. I would like to change all the letters in the alphabet so that you and I would always be together. Oh, <laughs> that's all right. All right. Let's drink oh, to that. Let's <laughs> drink to that. <laughs> oh, Helen. Don't tell me you're going into one of your hiccup marathons. I can't help it if I get these things and can't stop them. <laughs> Is there anything we can do to stop him? Well, not that I know of. We've tried everything but shooting her. I, well, she's had these and they last for a long time. Come on, let's sit down. Yes, sit down. I like you. There now, Mother. You just sit down there. Sally. Don't just sit down, Sally, over here. I'd like to know. Dad. Go there and make a pitch. You can stop the old girl from burping. To be in solid with it. Maybe you're right. Boo! You idiot! What are you trying to do? Well, I read that you could stop hiccups by scaring a person. It's better to die of hiccups than of heart failure. The way to cure this dread malady is to use thought control. You see, you must concentrate your mind on your affliction by using self-hypnosis. Mr. Fields, what are you doing? Hypnosis. You must hypnotize yourself by repeating over and over to yourself, I will stop them, I will stop them, I will stop them, and they'll go away. Now try it, you can't fail. I will stop them, I will stop them, I will stop them. You see, she's completely cured. You kept saying to yourself over and over, I will stop them, I will stop them. And what is the result? <laughs> Amateur quacks will step aside, please. I will show Miss Davis how to cure of us her affliction. Now, Miss Davis, will you place that pencil in your mouth uh, crosswise? Watch this. Now, uh, drink as much water as you possibly can without breathing. Take your time, Mrs. Davis. Take it easy. Don't breathe. <laughs> Mr. Abbott, you're a genius. They're gone. <laughs> Why, certainly. When I give out self-aid tips, uh, they're real McCoy. Nothing like this uh, self-hypnosis uh, uh, bunk of his. Oh, Mr. Abbott, I could kiss you. <laughs> now, you fellas, you all have your turn. Why don't you let me have my turn with my method that I use on my dog? How dare you compare Miss Davis to a dog? Mr. Abbott is right. My wife is not a dog. Now, wait a minute. Hiccups are hiccups, and it'll cure my dog, Engelbert. I think it'll cure Mother. Please, Lou, I know you can do it. 
<laughs> now, all I gotta do is take the thumb and the forefinger, and I put that over the nose like this. Take it easy, Mom. And with the palm of the hand, I put it up against the mouth. Why? Well, this way she can't breathe. And when she can't breathe, she can't hiccup. Now watch. Watch. She's stopping right now. She can't hiccup right now. You got that? Isn't that wonderful? This is a wonderful really test. No kidding. <laughs> How do you like that, fellas? You see? Mrs. Davis is not hiccuping. I like that. Stop it. Stop, 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 stop it. What's the matter with you? She's not wrong there. She can't breathe now. She can't breathe. And it's not going to hit You with the pencil underwater. And you with that... I don't like that. Costello, let her alone. What's the matter with you? She's all right. She's all right. You strangle my darling wife. I ought to have a cue in the night. Costello. Fine mess you've made out of things. You get a chance to marry a wonderful girl like Sally, and you wind up by trying to break her mother's neck. I didn't strangle her, bud. I didn't strangle her. Lou! Where's Lou? Oh. Here I am, Mom. Lou! Oh, you cured my hiccups, and this time I do know it's for good. Oh. Oh. I almost choked you to death. Oh. oh, well, what difference does that make? After all, his treatment was a little rough, that dog treatment, but it did work. Oh, oh. darling, you're wonderful. How can I repay you? Hmm? <laughs> a little that calls for a drink. All of us. Come on, let's celebrate. Oh, oh right this right. way, my hero. A nice large glass for you. To you, our mother? Thank you, Lou. To you, my darling? Thank you, Lou. Excuse me. Do you mind? A pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> I'd like to make a toast. A toast. A toast. Uh, a well, toast to my little dog, Egelbert. <laughs> to <Hey>, Egelbert. What do we do first? We change the numbers on the crate, so when Costello and his pals put this joint together, it should resemble something out of a nightmare. I'd love to be in on the preview of this place he's given Sally and her folks. And I've got a hunch by the time this preview is over, Costello will be poisoned to the Davis family. Then I step in and get Sally. Perfect. Let's get started. Whistler couldn't have done a better job. A masterpiece. Shall we continue? Be my guest. <laughs> Beautiful. Hey, don't hog all the fun. I'm a wizard making eights out of sixes and nines out of sevens. All right, when we get to those numbers, you can handle them. Good. <laughs> Well, it's all right. Well, gentlemen, I want to tell you something. I'm proud. Huh? I'm happy. You should be. I want to thank you two for helping. This is the dream house for Sally and I. It's so perfect. Well, it should be perfect. It's taken the three of us uh, over a week to assemble this thing. Yeah, and it's too bad we worked so late today. Didn't get a chance to check and see if everything's all right. Well, at least the lights work. Mr. Field, uh, I left the lights on just in case we wanted to check something. Why shouldn't everything be all right? We've assembled this house according to the numbers on the crates. Everything is perfect. Whew, hey, yeah, close that door. You want us to catch cold? I... Hey, look. Uh -oh. Hey, what happened? When you slammed the door, the piano took off. Hey, maybe the floor isn't level. Hold on to that piano. I'll soon check that. Let's put it back in its place. Now, boys, according to this level, the floor slants about 10 degrees to my right. Now, with a slant like that, anything is liable to happen. Yeah, it does feel a little lumpy here. You know what I mean? Grab that piano. 
before somebody gets killed. Now, wait a minute. Take it easy, boy. Take it easy. I can't understand this. I just can't understand it. I put this floor together myself. I distinctly remember joining Section 7 to Section 8. It's got to be right. There's only one thing wrong with it. What? It's wrong. That's right. What's well, wrong? It's not right. It's wrong. That's wait, right. Look, wait a minute, boys. There's no, no need of arguing. Let's prop something up against it and uh, so it don't run wild, hold and tomorrow we can nail it down. Well, hold get it, something. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. Well, I'll get help hold you hold it. All right. right. Now, hold it hard. Hey, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good idea. Uh, that ought to hold it. Come, Mother. Well, here we are for the big inspection of Honeymoon House. Daddy? Yeah? Isn't it a dream? Looks all right from the outside. <laughs> well, supposing we go in and see what it's like on the inside. Must be Sally and her folks. That's him. Well, here it is. Well, good luck, kid. Lou, it is perfectly darling. Isn't it beautiful, Sally? Come right in. Come right in. Listen, what'd you knock on the door for? Why don't you ring the bell? We got beautiful chimes. You have? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love chimes. Let me try. Yeah. Times I ever heard. Remind me of the Queen Mary. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, you've got to see the rest of the house. Will you be surprised? <laughs> uh, may I take your coat? Oh, no. I'm not feeble. Where's the closet? Oh, <laughs> You didn't carry me across the threshold. Uh-oh, that comes after the wedding, providing this house is up to expectations. Hey, I wonder what's keeping Helen in that closet. We better go look. <laughs> what happened to you? I stepped into that closet and fell flat on my face in the driveway. A pardonable error. We just didn't have time to find the outer wall to the closet. Mind a detail. Uh, let's see the dining room. Good idea. Right over this way. Please. Oh, wait a minute, darling. I'll put the lights on. Uh-oh. Must be a mistake here. <laughs> oh. There. Suppose when you want to put the lights on in the bedroom, you go out and flick a switch in the garage. <laughs> oh, Henry, be your age. Let's look over the dining room. Isn't it pretty? You like a pop? Hey! I like the idea of having sliding doors. Cuts off the dining room from the living room. Makes it cozier. Lou, <laughs> oh, what's wrong with the doors? Oh, sweetie, there's nothing wrong with the doors. These are the new modern doors that they put in these kind of dining rooms now. You see what you do? In the summertime, if it's real hot, yeah. you see these kind of doors let more air in. I want to show you how they work. They oh. slide back real lovely. Look at that. And that keep you that? <laughs> They're lovely doors, sweetie. Oh. oh, I'm tired. Certainly feels good to relax. Mr. Costello, yeah. from what I've seen of this house so far, my daughter stands an excellent chance of dying an old maid. Oh, come, come, Mr. Davis, you must realize. Every new house must have a few flaws That's in it. That's right, Daddy. Thank you a million, Mr. Fields. Bail me out. Bail me out. Oh, don't pay any attention to old sourpuss. Come on. Let's all go look at the kitchen. Oh, no. Come on, Lou. No, no, not the kitchen. Heavens knows what could happen to us in there. Let's be safe and try the bedroom. Well, let's all go into the living room while you snoop around the bedroom. Come on, Sally. Come on, Lou, dear. Let's go back in the bedroom. The bedroom is right over here. Oh, thank you, Mr. Abbott. That, that's the bedroom. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, my goodness. What's the matter? No floor. <laughs> Henry, how did you get into that condition going into the bedroom? Bedroom, my eye. I opened the door and there was no floor. I went all the way down to the basement. Costello, <laughs> why ought to... Oh, oh, oh. No, Dad, please. Wait a minute, I'll get a chair for you. Yeah, Daddy, come sit down.
you all right? I'm fine. Fine, darling. <coughs> Gee, now we'll never be able to get married. Oh, well, don't worry, Lou. Why, in, in 10 or 15 years, when Daddy forgets, we'll try again. You're so right, Sally. Time wounds all heals. 